Hi, let's just get right into this video. Uh, I didn't expect to make another video on the Panthers offense, but here we are. Um, this wing stack, it is a very, very good formation because it has some very nice runs. Halfback dive, halfback stretch, and also it has a jet sweep. So very, very powerful stuff. Um, it really is running the ball. It is just about reading the defense. So if you want to come out in halfback stretch, it really depends on what your opponent is showing you. In this case, I would always run the stretch. That's just, that's just a given. This stretch uh, plays very, very good against. It's very, very good against uh, nickel 35 wide. So I'll run it one more time. Even have the safety spied right there. That's just that's some very, very popular run defense. It has no chance. Now, you, there's another way you can run the stretch, and I like that way even better because it also flows together very nicely with the few man beaters that I'll show you in this formation. If you flip the stretch and then motion your tight end across. Then you also have a way of running that to the left side. So right there he sets, I'll snap the ball, and I can get to the outside right there fairly easily. Now, you're not going to always have that. It is important to keep the opponent's user inside the box because you, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't want them to just be able to count on you running outside. So that's why there's also this very nice halfback dive. The halfback dive is not as flashy. It's not going to get you that many yards uh, consistently, but it just forces your opponent uh, to just not commit to uh, outside runs only so if you just keep trying to pound him down the middle one thing that you also can try to do is snap uh, is if I set the defense up again uh, is motion snap one of your wide receivers to the inside snap him right here and now you'll get an extra blocker maybe he will get some more yards I don't know also if you want to try perhaps uh, you can run halfback stretch with the same motion on the wide receiver it's really just about confusing your opponent and also let's not forget snap the ball right here try to get some yards that way i don't know it's just about confusing your opponent like i said and yes that is pretty much all there is about that let's talk about some man beaters um this curl post drag it is very nice because of the stack formation on the left side if you don't know stack in real life is designed to beat press man coverage so that's why that is also good in Madden. That is actually one of the, uh, the very rare occasions where Madden copied real life pretty nicely. If, you, if you'll notice, um, our square receiver, he's not getting... Also, nobody's blocking. Uh, our square receiver is not getting pressed at all. So if we um, have a route like this where we are not getting pressed and our wide receiver just from how the route uh, works already has inside positioning that's obviously very favorable for us that is a very favorable matchup right there you see how we lose the cornerback we totally lose him on the break so there's no way that your opponent is gonna be able to defend this with man coverage he is gonna have to use it and if he uses it then we also have a chance to get our corner out our slot apprentice corner out open one thing if you are interested is you can put McCaffrey on uh, this angle route that motion uh, out to the right side that also has a chance of beating man coverage also now with this we'll have a linebacker matched up against uh, this man being route against uh, on, or on Kittle if I were you I'd get a good tight end right there with 90 route uh, mid medium route running I think that's what it's called uh, so you'll have a chance of beating man coverage that way also backside or not backside on the two wide receiver side we have the corner route uh, from the slot apprentice so very nice stuff this is just a great way of beating man coverage the bad thing about this is that your opponent is going to know uh that you're running uh pass play if you motion the running back out so that's just something to keep in mind let's keep it moving to this double corner this double corner it's kind of random this circle rod i liked it yesterday it worked um it's not a guarantee though i've seen it be played uh, a couple of times now and i'm not sure if it'll work it can work it's not amazing but another uh, reason why i want to show you this play is this x route from the tight end if i snap this ball uh, the tight end gets outside of man coverage unless it's a cornerback with outside leverage that's the only main coverage that's going to play that so if i set the defense up again uh, shade over top right there boom um i want to run this um double corner one time and there is a chance that I'll completely embarrass myself right now if I want to show off this corner route. But I'll just show it off. 
because I want to risk it. And if it works, it's kind of amazing. Okay. Um, it's a decent rally. Can beat man coverage right there. He just stuck uh, with the round all the way. So that was good defense by the cornerback. Like I said, it's not a guarantee. It is possible though. And yeah, it's definitely something to keep in mind. A thing that I want to show you guys is motion and kill lacrosse. This now flows together very nicely with the stretch. If we want to run the stretch to the left side, one thing we can do, I'll actually show this right now. I don't remember if I showed it at the beginning of the video. Uh, what you can do is you can flip the stretch by flicking the right stick to the left, then motion kill across, and then you have a stretch to the left. If I already said that and I'm redundant right now, then I'm sorry. But I, I, I just honestly can't remember. Um, this post route on Kittle, it's really juicy. Um, so let's just look at it. Uh, it's a, it does a very nice job of beating man coverage, especially against the linebacker. Like the linebacker right here doesn't have a chance. That gets open guaranteed. It's just the issue is just that there's going to be your opponent's user right in that area. So that's uh, area. So that's something to keep in mind. Yes, that is pretty much all there is to this formation from man coverage and run standpoint. I don't want to show uh, zone beaters out of this because I feel like some things have to be reserved for the ebook. And I'll have all that written down. Uh, if you want to know how to get my ebook, make sure to follow my Twitch. Uh, go ask me over there. I haven't quite figured it out yet, so I'll see uh, what I will do with it. All the setups for all the formations out of the Panthers offense is, are going to be broken down in this. So you definitely should be ready for that. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure to follow uh, the Twitch. Like I said, turn on the notifications so you know uh, when I do the gun bunch uh, ebook out of this. That's going to be in the over the next couple of days so be ready for that i hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something this playbook is very pass heavy but don't forget to run the ball and this formation especially is a very very good job of reminding you to just keep going back to the run and see what works i'm done appreciate you taking the time take it easy